What's up, Homestead Homies? It's Off Good with Doug and Stacy. I'm Doug. And I'm Stacy. And we're going to talk to you guys about how marinating your meat can protect your health. <laughs> So we know pretty much barbecue season's in full swing um, and probably a video we should have got a little earlier to you guys, but man, we're just trying to keep up. We're doing a, uh, seriously, if I could have your attention for just one moment. We are off grid, no solar power. We use our cell phone and a laptop and we're putting up one video every single day. Can we get some props? <laughs> All right, what you got? Okay, I wanted to talk about um, about cooking. Yeah, And I want to talk about eating. <laughs> yeah, and you do like to eat. <laughs> so about, about cooking your food, especially on high heat. So it could be anything from grilling, um, over fire, over coals, frying foods, anything that you're going to use high heat. There's, there's, multitudes of studies done about when you are cooking at high heat, um, what happens to the meat, especially when it gets blackened, that it produces like carcinogens and they're called HCAs. It's a heterocyclic, <laughs> he's laughing. I'm waiting for you to blow it, come on. No, heterocyclic of mine. <laughs> so they, uh, what they do basically is they break down the amino acids in the meat because of the heat and then it turns it into something carcinogenic and kind of like, you know, a mutant, sort of like, and it can change your DNA possibly. So they've done lots possibly. and lots of, yeah, there's lots of studies done on this. Um, you can find tons of them online. You can find them in medical journals. I mean, there's a lot of stuff on it. Now, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Does this count my salmon patties? Oh, because I put them in the oil? Yeah, and it's kind of hot. Well, we're going to talk about okay. what you can do to All these right. things to help. All right. So, you know, you've heard about people who marinate the meats, and I'm sure everyone's marinated their meats. It's it not be. just for fun anymore. No, because marinating your food, of course, you know, you think you marinate it just because of the taste and to tenderize it. But the big thing for it, it protects it because the things you marinate it with are um, like antioxidants, and they're going to protect it. And you guys are gonna. I know. Heat. I know there's some of you that are really gonna like these two marinades that you can put on your meat. The best. You're gonna like two. These I know one of them. What was the other one? Beer and wine. Oh, yeah. By using it, because you can utilize the beer and the wine. You can soak it by itself. You can even use non-alcoholic beers and wines. Do they make non-alcoholic wine? I don't but know. Why would you buy beer? it? <laughs> because what it does, the yeast in the beer, it does help it um, protect it when you're cooking it. Um, that's why I guess a lot of people possibly would drink wine with their meal, like red meats. There's something in it when you are ingesting these foods. Let's say you don't marinate your meat with it, but you drink a glass of wine with your meat. It's just going to help break down any of those carcinogenic things going on inside to kind of protect, give it like antioxidants. So you can marinate in beer and herbs together. Yeah. And the herbs I want to talk about, because they're just, just like we would eat them normally, like in a salad or um, cooking them. Um, like ginger and pink Himalayan sea salt and... Well, it would, it's, yeah, it's mostly like your herbs. So it's going to be like thyme, uh, yeah, it's going to be thyme and rosemary, rosemary and oregano. Yeah. Rosemary, it was very high. Uh, they did some studies on those and it showed that the rosemary, no, lamp, not lamb's quarter. <laughs> He's blowing it today. I'm just throwing stuff in there. <laughs> I like to throw it up against the wall, see if it's. But just think of these good, powerful herbs. You know, on our lamb, I always put rosemary Lemon all bomb. over it. Another no go. <laughs> <laughs> no, it would be okay. But the big ones, the heavy hitters, are going to be ginger, ginger and garlic, garlic, cayenne pepper, yeah. red pepper flakes. Right. Um, hey, wasn't cayenne pepper the herb, herb of, the of the year 2016? It still is the herb of the year. It's not 2016. It's not over with. That's right. So I'm going to show you in just a little bit. Um, I'm going to make a marinade. I'm having a, we're going to do a grill of sirloin because I'm going to use it in And where did that sirloin come from? Our cow, our grass-fed right. cow. Grass-fed cow. Most of the food that we do uh, digest and ingest here are um, have we have touched one way or the other. Our, the cow we're still eating on was raised in our fields. 
Um, we're having we're gonna uh, have some lambs processed here in a minute, and then of course we have our garden um, that we use. So we try to you know we eat as much as we can. Yeah, and our garden will be rocking next year. Oh, you better watch out, okay? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Patera. Yeah. <laughs> So we just had a little bitty small garden this and year. And that's how it is. And, and you guys are going to see a video that I talk about um, in a little bit. It's going to be talking about successes and failures and making mistakes. Um, so hopefully you guys get a little something from that. It's going to be a short video. That's right. Yeah. So let's get back to marinades. <laughs> so um, on the marinades, and what it's going to do is you can use different things like citruses are wonderful, like an acidic kind of medium. Yeah for like your fishes and your chickens. Chickens are particularly a really bad one um, because of all the fat on it. And if you grill it and you get a lot of, you know, the black parts on it, that's pretty not very good. So usually when I do our chicken and I'm gonna grill it, I'll soak it and I'll make a marinade and I use lemon juice. Lemon juice, yeah. So lemon juice is, and it tastes excellent actually. Not that you stuff can, out of the bottle, right? You can, yeah, for yeah. sure, you can do that, yeah. Um, I'll show you that later too, my, the lemon juice that I use a lot of, but, um, you can use orange juice, um, lemons, apple cider vinegar, um, olive oil. There's lots of different ones that I'm going to take you over to the kitchen area in just a second and I'll show you kind of some a of those. Whole three feet that way. Yeah, we got a <laughs> long way to go. But just, you know, by doing this and when you marinate your meats, whether it be, you know, your lamb, your beef, your chicken, your turkey, your fish, however. Anything you're cooking with heat. The best way, high heat. Yeah. You know, if you're going to do something in the crock pot or so, or, or the like all American meat, sun oven, yeah, those are all cool. You don't need, I mean, marinating is great, but it's this for is flavor. Particularly this is for, for high health. heat cooking, right, right. yeah, like you're frying and you're grilling and stuff like that on, on hot coals. So, um, see, now I lost my train of thought. Come on, get that train back on the rails. Yeah, it falls off the train. Car you're talking about high heat. I was talking about high yeah, heat, yeah, and that those marinades, you know, are protecting you from what the high heat cooking. I know. All right, now what? I totally forgot. Okay, so where I was. let's just say we forgot, and now what? I don't know. What else you want we to talk about? We might have to start over. We going, no, we're not. We're going right over to the cooking. No, because I wanted to talk about one more thing. What? And I can't think. You know what happens when you get older? You forget sometimes. I keep telling her to take the fish thinking. oil. She does it for a day, then she doesn't do it for two days, and then she does it for a day, and then she doesn't do it for a week. And then when she does it, I do it because she gives it to me when she does it. And I haven't had some in like three or four days at least. Because I forget to give it to you. Okay, so well, what I want to encourage you guys to do is um, to make your own marinades. Because a lot of these marinades that you can buy in the store, yeah. they are filled with yeast extract, MSG, MSG like Natural alternatives. Natural flavors, yeah. You know, that they say they're not MSG, but they really are. Or, Oh, um, did we do a video about that? We did too. <laughs> and then high fructose corn syrups because they will do, you know, uh, different types of sugars sure. like that. So really be careful. And they're so e it's so easy to make. I mean, you usually have all these herbs. Just get a bunch of those herbs, put them together, and you can make a rub. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do that in just a minute. Other thing I want to talk about real quick is, and I still haven't remembered what I wanted to talk about, but um, is I had read some studies also about using barbecue sauce. On the yeah. high heat with the tomato and the sugar together, Burr. it can almost double the carcinogens. Carcinogens. Yeah, car um, so maybe if you're going to barbecue, maybe put it in a pan where you're slow cooking it a little bit more, and that would be a lot more healthier alternative with that. So you don't have it like dripping down on the heat, you know. Well, then it gets black. Kind of like that, right? Right. right. And the thing is, is a lot of the stuff, you know, everything, of course, is in moderation. If you're a person that's going to be grilling and cooking your meat all the time and not marinating it a lot, that's when you're There's really stuck having of, problems. A lot of tongue issues here. I know I'm having problems today. <laughs> I'm very tongue-tied. But like for us, in the summertime, we use the grill quite a bit. We do. Yeah. We do cook on it. And we use the All-American Sun Oven quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, so, let me take you guys over here. And we'll kind of go over it a little bit more so you can see. Um, and I'll go over some of the other things that you can use in your marinades and ways that you can um, cook with them and make it a lot more healthier when you're cooking on high heat. Yeah. Let's go. All right. We came all the way over to the kitchen now. And I'm going to show you today I'm going to make a coffee, um, coffee rub out of fine ground coffee, as you see right here. Um, Coffee is another thing that you can use, antioxidant that you can use when you're grilling that will help it. 
So this is really yummy when you're doing any kind of red meats. I love it. Um, Doug does too, and it just kind of enhances the flavor. So basically, I'm going to use my little half pint jar, and I'm going to probably fill it about half full of the coffee. I had to make my pretty plate, <laughs> so you guys could see everything. So I'm going to fill it's it all about in the presentation. Yes, that's right. <laughs> it looks pretty. So here is my coffee. Mm, I love, we don't drink coffee here, and I cannot tell you I love the smell of coffee. Coffee is just, oh, I love it. It's the best air freshener. If you want a great air freshener, too, you talk about, you know, not having these poison, toxic things in your home and getting air fresheners, just get some coffee beans and put them in a bowl and set them out somewhere. They look pretty, and they make your house smell great. You could probably throw some in a tea bag and throw them in your car, too. Man, look at you. You're just learning so much here. Look, out, look at him. Step away. Step out. All right. <laughs> All right. So here's my coffee. And then I'm going to put here's some red pepper flakes. Here's some cayenne. Here's some dehydrated onions. Here's pink Himalayan sea salt. Here's some pepper. Here's some garlic. Here's some homemade brown sugar. And these are what I'm going to put in there. You guys, if you want to add some other things, go ahead. If you want to put in some thyme or some oregano or whatever you want. That's the good thing about a lot of these rubs. These go pretty good together. Another one that you can put in here, and I ran out, I don't have any, is paprika. Paprika is good too. So I'm going to put a lot of the onion in here. A lot of onion. I should just get the whole plate and just put it on over it. And I'm going to put a lot of the pepper in it, too. And a lot of the garlic powder. Okay. And then I'll put some red pepper flakes in there, too. Now, the cayenne I'm not going to be as uh, crazy <laughs> with. You know, just maybe a little bit. But it does help it to have that bite in there. Now, I haven't dried my rosemary out. Um, I can put this up in it like when I'm shaking it out because I'm going to keep this and I'm going to um, probably put some of this on my meat tonight too. And then here's my pink sea salt. And then I'm going to put my brown sugar. Sugar, sugar. You know that song? Honey, honey. I guess I should put it in a bowl. <laughs> I'm so messy all the time. Okay, so here you go. There you go. That's much easier that way. So I'm putting my brown sugar. I have my salt. I'm going to use all of my onions and a lot of pepper, lots of garlic. And just, you know, you make as much as you need to make for whatever you're going to carry, you know, because it'll last a while in the pantry. And we, I use a lot of it. I mean, I put it all over it when we're cooking it. All right, so you're gonna mix it up really, really good. And then if I had some dry rosemary, I'd probably put that in there too, but I don't have it yet. I'm gonna wait. Okay, maybe some more red pepper flakes. And then if you put the paprika in it, it looks pretty too. A little bit more orange. And all I'm going to do is pour it. <laughs> I need my funnel again. I'm always so unorganized. Okay. And this will probably make two of them. And then here you go. And then I can use this. Now, I'm going to go and get um, my meat and show you. I've been marinating it. Um, the best way to marinate your meats is to try to do it as long as you can. Um, you know, like if you do it at night, do it overnight, which would be great. Five, six hours would be wonderful, but at least, you know, the minimum would be 30 minutes, but I would try to marinate it as, you know, quite a few hours if you can. That way it can really absorb it and kind of make it into like a little superhero. I always think about it, you know, when you put these, these, um, antioxidants and these herbs and spices and things over it what it does is it kind of puts a protective barrier over it and makes it kind of like a like if you had a bulletproof vest it kind of protects you it protects it from those carcinogens as it's cooking 
So I'll be right back. I'm gonna get my meat that's been marinating overnight and I'm gonna show you. So um, what I've done is I already have some rub and I just usually put it in old containers, you know. I already had some and I wanted to make some more. So um, I had just go ahead, went ahead and done this and then I'll keep this for later. And um, I just let it marinate and then I'm gonna grill this and we're gonna use it for our salads the next day or two. And we'll just have like sirloin steak on our salads. But what I wanted to also show you is this Italian volcano lemon juice. This stuff is really, really good stuff. You can get it at Costco and other places do carry it. But this is a really good quality lemon juice if you don't have access to like fresh lemons. If you're gonna use it to make salad dressings or anything or marinades because you do need a lot like if you're gonna make a marinade for your fish or for your, um, for your chicken and it's great, it has a great flavor. Or even if you wanna make lemonade, homemade lemonade, it's phenomenal if you're gonna do homemade lemonade and you don't have, like I say, access to the lemons. So by using these things, and I also put um, apple cider vinegar and olive oil in my marinade because I'm trying to put all my little superheroes in here to protect, to get my protective barrier to help with those carcinogens. Um, and then of course, when you guys are eating a lot of these foods, um, if you are barbecuing, just eating your leafy greens and eating all these nutrition, nutritionally dense foods that will help protect um, and protect your body from any damage that could occur. So just kind of a little, um, you know, for your information to let you guys know if you're not marinating for sure, like if you're going to make hamburgers, you know, usually you just make the patties and put them out there. Maybe start marinating your hamburgers too because a lot of people might just put a little salt and pepper in and just put them out there. Maybe think about marinating them for a little bit before if you're going to make them, if you're going to marinate 30 minutes or an hour before you take them out there. Um, so that's about it. If you guys have any great comments and you want to, you know, what you like to marinate for, we would love to hear them. So leave it below on the comments and um, I will talk to you guys later. This is Off Through with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Stacy. See you guys later which is a great way to recycle. Um, also, if you go over to Homestead Anonymous, you can see a video where he used a, um, re a used billboard.